Hello, I'm Matt Robinson with your SCV News Break for Thursday, November 12th. Palmdale City officials were deeply saddened to learn that its first mayor, Larry Shamboli, died on Tuesday. Shamboli served a total of 12 years on the Palmdale City Council. He was later elected to the California State Assembly in 1973. Last month, Shamboli was immortalized in a statue as part of the, Legis or the Legendary Locals series. The statue sits across from Palmdale City Hall. The Santa Clarita Valley Sanitation District is set to release an environmental impact report for the new chloride compliance plan. The plan will call for the Sanitation District to possibly truck brine out of the community to a water treatment plant in Carson. The plan was originally approved in 2013 to install a deep well injection site in Valencia, but the project did not go through due to an uproar from residents. The Sanitation District plans to release the environmental impact report next Tuesday. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we'll learn about how the Old Town New Hall Library is getting a makeover. Plus, we'll have everything from entertainment from Stephen Peoples. Stay tuned. Hi Santa Clarita, did you know November is Men's Health Month? I'm sure you've heard of Movember, No Shave November. We're going to have a huge campaign this month. We really want you guys to get involved. SCV TV and HomeSmart are proud sponsors of this event. At the end of the month, we're going to have a great get together and just celebrate living here in Santa Clarita and men's health. And I'm Ray Tippett with A Circle of Hope. Please look for more information at www.circleofhopeinc.org. Welcome back. A volunteer spent 13 hours on Saturday putting up an art display at the Old Town New Hall Library. But what makes this display unique is that it is made entirely out of yarn. The trend some call yarn bombing has made its way to Santa Clarita. The pieces are based off of popular children's books in an effort to get more children to read. This installation is called uh, Once Upon a Yarn, and it is a yarn bombing, which is also sometimes called um, yarn graffiti. It's a form a temp of temporary public art. So, and it's kind of taken the country by storm. It's all over the country, people doing it on trees and um, other public things. Uh, it's fun, it's colorful, it's whimsical. And uh, we did an earlier one on Main Street last uh, March, and then the library approached us and thought that it would be fun to do one here for the Literacy Festival this, uh, coming up this Saturday. It kind of popped in my mind that we should try and interpret children's books into you know, just bring them to life. So uh, we chose the books. I sourced all the yarn and the color palettes, gave them to all these remarkable women, and um, I'm so delighted with what came back. The yarn bombing comes just in time for Old Town New Hall Library's Literacy and Arts Festival. The festival will feature performers, activities, books, and more. Children will be able to identify the books represented in the yarn pieces outside of the library in an effort to get more kids to read. The event will be held on Saturday, November 14th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Well, now turning to weather, Santa Clarita saw temps in the 70s Thursday with overnight lows in the 40s. A red flag warning will be in effect through Friday night with wind gusts as high as 35 miles per hour. The next couple of days will see much of the same until Sunday when temps drop and a chance of rain creeps into the forecast. Well, now turning to Stephen K. Peoples with entertainment. What do you have for us, Stephen? Well, thanks, Matt. Now, if you're as pet crazy as my family is, you and yours will love the stunt dog experience Friday night at the Santa Clarita Performing Arts Center at College of the Canyons. Renowned animal trainer Chris Perandi and his loyal canine crew are going to present amazing pet tricks, big air stunts, comedy antics, dancing dogs, and exciting athletic feats. It's high-energy fun for pet lovers of all ages. Showtime's at 8 p.m. Friday. Tickets range from $18 to $33. Call a packed box office now at 661-362-5304. And top local rockabilly ravers and SCV TV house blend stars Hard Six join the mayhem at the inaugural Rocketbilly Jubilee in the Hills, set for Sunday afternoon at the Borderline Bar and Grill in Thousand Oaks. Along with a custom car show and a pinup contest, the band lineup also features the Rockets, the Delta Bombers, Three on a Match, Galactic Pole Cats, SoCal Rocket Dynamics, and more. Sounds like a blast. Showtime's at 3 p.m. Call the borderline at 805-446-4435 for tickets and more info. 
And speaking of Hard Six, on Saturday night, we're featuring a special encore broadcast of the trio's Killer House Blend show, hosted by yours truly. House, uh, Hard Six premiered songs from their new Haunted Ride album on the show, so don't miss them at 10 p.m. Saturday right here on SCV TV and streaming everywhere at scvtv.com. And you'll find lots more local entertainment news 24-7 at hometownstation.com, scvnews.com, and my blog, stephenkpeoples.com. That's what's bumping in the SCV Entertainment Beat. Back to you, Matt. Thanks, Stephen. Well, that's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. I'm Matt Robinson. Thanks for watching.